Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mads with Ease by Mr. Kamotha. And in this video, we are just going to explain activity four. Activity four of, uh, of, of, of this topic, activity four, we are told to expand and simplify. And we have done a bit of expansion. Now we know what we need to do. We just apply the foil. And uh, as you look at part one, we have one minus root two multiplied by one plus root two. Of course, if you followed the last video in example 10, you must have understood that um, we might, we are likely, in fact, we are going to have a rational number here because we are multiplying this sad by the same sad only with a different sign. The figures are the same. So using the foil, we have 1 times 1, 1. 1 times, min, uh, 1 times root 2, we have root 2. Minus root 2 times 1, we have minus the root of 2. And minus root 2 times root 2, we have minus 2. Of course, you can say plus root 2 minus root 2 will cancel out. And we are eventually going to have 1 minus 2, which is negative one that is part a but um that is a part roman one that is a roman one uh, a roman two we are going to have four plus root three multiplied by four minus root three again this is a conjugate of this four times four we have sixteen using the foil again, 4 times minus root 3, we have uh, uh, minus 4 root 3, and three root 3 times 4, we have plus 4 root 3, and we have root 3 times minus root 3, we have negative 3. Again, that and that will cancel out, 16 minus 3, we have 13. And that is the end of the story there. Uh, A Roman 3, we have uh, 3 minus 2 root 2 multiplied by 3 plus 2 root 2. Again, this is a conjugate of this. They are conjugates of each other. And the moment we realize that we have conjugates of each other, we can actually make our journey shorter because we just need to multiply 3 times 3, which is a 9. And 3 uh, times 2 root 3, which is 6, times 2 root 2, which is 6 root 2. Let's just have it 6 root 2. And minus 2 root 2 times 3 is minus 6 root 2. We would have ignored multiplying these two numbers to get this and that because they will eventually cancel out. But for better understanding, let us bring them on board. Minus 2 root 2 times 2 root 2 is minus 4 times 2, which is minus 8. Minus 4 times 2, which is minus 8. And that and that will cancel out because uh, positive and minus, uh, plus and minus the same will cancel out. And then we have 9 minus 8, which is basically 1. Fine, that is part A. Part B of the question we are being asked, are uh, your answers to part A rational or irrational? They are all rational. Because having multiplied by their conjugate, then we have rationalized them. Part C, what must you multiply? 2 plus root 2 and 3 minus 2 root 5 by to get a rational answer. Uh, we have part C. 2 plus root 2 has to be multiplied by 2 minus root 2 to get a rational answer. And that is just like it because we will get um, uh, 4 plus 2 root uh, root 2 minus 2 root 2 minus 2 that and that will cancel out and 4 minus 2 will get a 2 and for the second part 3 
minus 2 root 5, we must multiply with or by 3 plus 2 root 5. And there is no need of expanding because we know exactly what we are going to get. So that is the answer to that one. And that is the answer to um, part C. That is Roman 1 and Roman 2. Let us go to part D. Part D, we are being asked, what must you multiply A plus root B by to get a rational answer? And we just go directly to a conjugate. The conjugate of this one is A minus root B. And that is the answer. And uh, that is D part 1. D part 2 what must we multiply a minus c root b by to get a rational answer? The answer is the same, but with different sign. That means a plus c, the root of b. That is the answer to that question. And I hope we have finished. That is the end of activity four. Thank you. Subscribe and follow and share widely. Let us meet in the next video.